Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsusty, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft uh, without mining. And today we want to get to an ancient city so we can get our hands on a swift sneak book. So, in order to speed up our building projects. And I am somewhat prepared uh, Diamond Ho for all the uh, skulk a bed to uh, set spawn near the city shears for uh, getting the wool um, I wish I had a few more ender pearls um, and then of course quite a bit of wool to get around in the ancient city but we also need a bit of TNT because uh, we cannot uh, mine our way down to the ancient city. Uh, we have to force our entrance in. And I don't know if, uh, if there is a cave entrance in that leads all the way down or not. And I think that's about it, uh, direct talking to you uh, while uh, making progress. So the rest of this video is probably voice over or some soothing music to accompany all the chaos that's for sure to ensue. Now the first thing is how do you actually find an ancient city? If you know to see it, it's as easy as uh, pump it into a website like uh, Chunkbase and you get all the ancient city locations. Like I did here. However, the other alternative is not out of the world. Uh, as ancient cities are often located on the huge mountain ranges. So especially the icy ones have a good chance to have one on the knees. So fly around, look for them and maybe you get lucky. An ancient city can be an eerie place, all silent. But luckily, in an ancient city, there are no mobs aside from bats, and if you're unlucky, a warden or two.
even if you wake up a warden, they are not that scary. Try to stay away from that from them and sneak around so they do not sniff you out. Alternately, you can also pillar up about 30 blocks on wool, however, uh, and just wait them out until they uh, bury themselves down again. I am back and in these two shulkers here we have the spoil of our adventure. Quite a few discs, uh, some not so rares, uh, some rarer ones. Um, I am left over with a bit of wool, uh, did not use the, the TNT so uh, that will be useful in the future for sure um, but uh, I think I also lost a few items uh, despawned while I was being dead and waited the, the warden out uh, but all in all it was good fun for me and hopefully for you too so if that's true then please consider subscribe and leave a like doing all the good things uh, also leave me a comment down below if you want to see more of the adventure kind of things or more of the usual stuff we do here in this series but for now that's it for today hope you liked it and i will see you next time goodbye